Well, for months now, we've been showing you signs of economic recovery in eastern Idaho. Tonight, we continue that theme with now car sales. Phil Campbell tells us how a local dealership has seen a dramatic increase in car sales this year. It's one of the biggest purchases many of us will ever make. Automobiles are an essential part of our daily lives for so many in eastern Idaho. We use them for work and play, but up until this year, fewer of us were buying new vehicles. Now things are on the rise again. Phil Meters courtesy Ford has already had to revise its projections as car and truck sales have exceeded their expectations. It's been a be much better than we, than we had expected. We're actually ahead of our projections, and so it's, you know, times are good. One reason for the increase in sales is all of the new features that have become standard on many new cars. This includes improved gas mileage, safety, and entertainment packages. Craig says it's a combination of this and the fact that people have had to alter their spending habits for so long that has more customers looking to buy new rather than used. I think there's some pent-up demand. I think that there's demand that's been for the last couple of years, people holding off. And I think that they're just tired of being told what to and what not to buy. Once the price of gas continues to increase, courtesy Ford anticipates more growth in the car market as well, especially for some of their more fuel-efficient vehicles. Right. In fact, our, our experience is that in, in vehicles like that new Fiesta, 40 miles per gallon, that's phenomenal. I mean, that's just, that's great. That's a gas car and you don't have to worry about throwing away a battery. Reporting in Pocatello, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. Now, the increased sales have led to more jobs at the dealership, and that should help a little bit in the state's budget situation through the contribution of sales taxes.